Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to OMSI 2. Today we are back in Adsto and, uh, well, there's a new version of the beta, that's why we're back in Adsto. And as you can see, we've got a lovely Digibus Mirage and uh, it's got a funky little livery with it. It's Adsto branded, town centre, seafront, Adsto station and retail estate. So this is a new route which has come to Adsto. We've already got the 99, which we've looked at in previous episodes. We'll just fire the bus up so it can start building its air. Uh, yeah, we've already got the 99 that we've looked at in previous episodes and now we've got this new route 5 which comes uh, with a nice funky livery as I say for the Digibus Mirage. You'll also notice that we've got a brand new bus station going on in Adsto, uh, something that I've been quite excited about uh, for a little while looking at the screenshots that have been put out is this new bus station. You've got a, uh, a, a doodah over here, Adsto bus station operated by you can clearly see some other operator's logo has been scrubbed out there. It's, it's a really nice little detail, is that? And of course, you've got the first on there. And uh, yeah, yeah, really nice indeed. You've got a little bit of a town centre y area here, a bit more there. Nice little one way system. It's, uh, yeah, it's looking absolutely fantastic. Some bus stands there for maybe bus routes that aren't going to be stopping in the bus station. They can carry on past couple of uh, areas up there. Obviously this is still a beta so it's not finished, there's no lid on this building so to speak. Uh, but yeah, it's absolutely, I'm sure you'll agree, it has come on absolute leaps and bounds since we last saw it. So uh, yeah, the Route 5, it's a route that, uh, hang on, I'll, I'll pop this, can we, can we not move this? No, it appears it's stuck in the window. It's a route that's about 20 minutes in length, 14.26 departure from the bus station and we get to the retail park at uh, 1446 so yeah that is quite literally exactly 20 minutes long it goes through uh, places such as uh, Dobson Main I like that Adstow Seafront the station there's some bits that you'll recognize from the uh, from the old version or from the previous version sorry hang on we need to we need to put a module in that's down there there we go module is in module is back out put the module in there we go shut the thing one, two, three, four. Lovely. Nope. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. One, two, three, four is the pin. Lovely. So hang on. Right. Let me. Let me just make a note with uh, with my finest pen and paper. We'll uh, we'll have a look. So we've got two pound twenty in the top left because obviously we're doing ticket selling. And they're all going to want tickets, but obviously it prints a ticket out the second you press the button. Which is really, really annoying. I don't know why it does that. Uh, hang on, underneath, £3.20. Yep, smashing. £4. And £3 in the corner. Right, there we go. Now, oh, we've already got our red text up. Oh, crumbs were due out now. Right, okie dokie. Right, hang on, where's the change box? That's down there. Lovely, right, okie dokey get some arrows on so we know where we're going now this version of the digibus mirage has been updated as well since we last saw each other so it's got a new sound set however it does mean that i've lost my uh, my nice little uh, bp indicators which were a mod from uh, oh crumbs what's his, what's his name now i can't remember but uh, yeah i should have credited that i didn't realize that that was a mod i thought that it was just an updated uh, an updated thing from Digibus. Right, there we go. Everybody on. Good afternoon. Hello. Oh, All this and nobody's driver. buying a ticket. Right, okay. Have Hello. I got ticket selling turned on? I don't check. I mean, I think I have. Let's have a look. Oh no, ticket selling is turned off. That's why nobody's bought a ticket. Right. Into battle. We're going. Right, so. Pull straight around. We're coming out this way. There is actually a few little routes that do terminate in uh, in town here, but unfortunately, they don't seem to be there at the moment. So I've got all the liveries. Right, so we're going round here, and then we're going off to the left. The 99, of course, as you can see, goes round to the right there. There you go. That little wine actually stays with it now. The gearbox wine stays with it. That's much better. I'm not too convinced by the engine sounds, but the gearbox wime is definitely a welcome addition to this bus. Oh, yeah, you just, you just... Oh, it's got a new horn! Oh, hang on, right, Mayflower Street, right, we've got a 4.4 minute waiting time here. 
Just bashed up the curb. Right, well this isn't going to take 20 minutes then, is it? Because I'm skipping ahead four minutes. There's absolutely no way on earth we're sat here for four minutes. What are we going to talk about? Hello. 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 Right, hang on. 460, that's that one. Flipping heck, 15... 4... 10... 15... You want to count that change again? Well, no, because it's fine, but there's there's no notes, is there? Oh, there's a coffee, though, that's fine. No, there's no notes, it's just coins, sir, so unfortunately I can't do anything with that. Right, off we go. Yeah, I'm assuming with this being a beta, uh, as well I must mention, uh, the map is not currently available, hence it's in beta form. It will be available at some point in the future, I'd imagine. I mean, he's done this much work on it, so I'd imagine he's planning on releasing it, but at this precise moment in time, it's not available. Oh, we've got a uh, we've got a, a thingy there, an Eclipse 2, lovely. Running the Route 63, so he's got all the AI routes currently done. Oh, hang on. Go. Right, bit of braking. Come on, everybody on. All right, return, ticket, please. Return, yeah, lovely. 540. Lovely, cheers. Hello, Hello. May I have a single, please? You may, my love. Hang on, 220 in the corner. Smash it. Cheers for that. Is it dating? Oh, oh, hang on, right, where's... Uh, right, so that's the bottom one. You're welcome, love. Oh, there's some rude people out there, isn't there? Right, return in the corner. Oh, flipping heck. No. It is, love. You'd, you'd look at that I've got that much change, to be honest with you. Oh, hang on. What's happening? There we go. I thought we'd lost it for a second. Yeah, so it's got plenty of AI routes going, which is awesome. So there's plenty of AI traffic to see now. Usually Eclipse 2 is in the first Devon livery, which I believe have been added by uh, by Mr. Callum Chilly. I think he's the author of these repaints. But it's really, really nice that we're starting to see the map take shape now. I think it's actually it's using more custom assets, I think. Just looking, you know, there's like, there's these bits of road which he hadn't got before with the little, you know, tiles at the side, nice border. It just makes the whole place feel a lot more alive, doesn't it? A lot more... Um, you know, when we first had a look at Adstow, there was a lot of repeating assets that kind of made it just feel a bit... Nah, you know, it kind of felt like it was going to be another Oatford, or Oatford was going to be another Adstow. But now that this is starting to take shape, it, it's just, just brilliant. It's a nice little drive. It really is a lovely little drive. Is there still work to do? Of course there is. You can see that there's still work to do, but that's why it's still in a beta. But yeah, I'm, I'm really, really impressed. Oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. There's a sand martin, everybody. Yep. The obligatory sand martin on all UK OMSI maps. It was like, do you remember when we went through a phase with OMSI maps right. where every map had to have uh, some roadworks on? They just all did, didn't they? Lovely. Now it's uh, all the UK maps right, have mate. a sand martin on. Return, please. Hey, driver. Tell her. Right, there we go. Ready to go. Good thing about that bit is the cars can't overtake you. Not that they would anyway, but uh, yeah, they can't get round you because of the bollard. Oh, we've committed because we're a bit late. Got a Texco on the right hand side there. Really overgrown round here. It seems like an area of town they could really do something with, but the council has just let, let overgrow. It's like an inner city area, isn't it? That's just. Oh, we've got a, got a bit of a. Oh no, it's another road down there. Doesn't, oh, hang on. Sorry, sir. Way. Yeah, it doesn't actually go anywhere, the road down there, but it's a nice little bridge. Oh, nice mate. feature. Oh, Didn't right. have to be added, it, but what? That, uh, that is your change, sir. One, two, three, one, two. Thank you. Got a nice church in front. A wall. Maybe there's some sort of development going on behind there. What I would like to see here is maybe like some some little flowers in in stone squares. You know where they're like raised flower beds. Maybe a bench of some sort. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, hang on, we come on to a roundabout here. Wait. Oh, yeah, man. Church Street. How uh, adequately named. We're we going under some sort of railway bridge here. I'd imagine. Be nice if eventually we'll be able to see some trains going over. 
and a massive, massive row of car parking. But obviously, because it's the middle of the day, every single person in these houses is at work. It's nice to see the people of Adstow are uh, hard workers. Day ticket, yeah. Well, you should have bought a better quality bag then, shouldn't you, love, if, uh, if that's going to put a hole in your bag? With all that money, you'll be able to go out and buy a better quality bag, won't you? Right, so under the uh, the possible railway bridge, I didn't have a look. Should we have a look on top? We'll pause it and have a... Oh, it's a, it's a bridge with, uh, with nothing on it at this moment in time. But yeah, the way it stretches out there, that could definitely have a couple of trains on. Bend round to the right there, some sort of station maybe because it goes around there lovely oh very nice i guess there's no point in having it if uh, like having the tracks and having the ballast if it's just going to uh, slow down the game because i mean this is a very poorly optimized game at the best of times is omzi you know people say oh what's your secret to getting good frame rates with omzi realistically there isn't a secret you just kind of it's just look at the draw you find something that works for your system but uh, yeah from a map creator point of view. There's no point in putting tracks up there when you're not going to see them because you're down on the road. It'll just slow the map down for no reason. Very, very clever way of doing it, actually. We seem to be sat at these lights quite a while. They're very poorly optimised traffic lights. If this was, uh, I'd be right into the council. Be like everybody's kind of sat waiting. What are we waiting for? Wee, there we go. It's one of those. I don't mind sitting at traffic lights if you can see that lots is moving. But if everybody's sat still at traffic lights, you just sat there thinking, for crying out loud. There we go. So we go past the Adsto Artillery Barracks. Artillery spelt wrong on the red text in the left there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or if it'll be a bit small, but uh, yeah. Slight spelling mistake. We'll let him off with that. On account of the fact he's made a flipping good map. And the exciting thing is, is that this is only going to get better, isn't it? You know, he's expanding the routes more and more. I don't actually know what his plan is. I'm personally hoping that that bus station we've seen will be used as a central hub and there'll be like a spider web of routes coming off. Oh, look at this, nice little bus stop here. We've got a stop request, we'll pull in. Yeah, so like all the, the bus routes will all be focused around the main bus station and they'll they'll kind of all go out at different angles because we've not really got a, a UK style route like that, have we? Where it's all centred around one bus station. Because if you think you've got Arcala, that's kind of a, a big network of routes but it's it's very spread out same as Yorkshire very big network of routes not really focused around the central point there is the Windhaven bus station but it's it's great there's a bus station but it's not a central point is it like um, I'm trying to think of a good example like Berlin X10 everything comes into Zoologische Garten doesn't it um, what else would be a good idea even West Country that's not really focused around a central point. You've got Totnes bus station, but it isn't the hub of operations, is it? You know, I'd like a map where every single route goes to the bus station. I think that'd be awesome. Loads of buses to see, you'd go out in convoy, it'd be, it'd be awesome. But again, I, I don't know what his plans are, so uh, I'd, I'd love to tell you. Oh, he's going to do this, he's going to do that, he's going to do the other. Uh, he's going to make the traffic lights better, I can tell you that. We've been sat here ages and ages and ages. Come on. Oh, we've got a black Gemini on the right hand side there. Is that because the repaints haven't loaded in? I think it might be. Maybe it's just... Oh, there we go. Yeah, bit of repaint. That's what happens with the 4 gigabyte patch, isn't it? Dobson, Maine. I can't believe it. I'm late to my own flipping bus stop. Now, that might need looking at. The bus stop is placed strategically behind some railings. Yeah, that either the railings need moving there or the bus stop needs moving. And there we go, we'll give him a double flash on the hazard lights. For uh, letting us out, even though he had no choice. 
See, this is one of the only parts of the map, we've got roadworks both sides there, where you can actually start to see a repeating house used again and again and again. But I think he's, um, you know, this is only if you're looking at it. If you're just driving this, you won't be. I mean, I'm looking at this from a, you know, kind of analytical perspective. But he breaks it up really nicely with the odd tree. They're not the same tree. Van parts on the side there. It just splits it up really nicely, doesn't it? Um, again, coming down here, you can see from here you've got a couple of repeating textures but we've got the railings, lampposts, gap in the double yellows, bus stop okay we could maybe do with a bit of clutter outside these houses just to just to break it down a bit but again beach houses, bit of trees it's, it's just really really nicely done is it perfect? nope, I'm not going to tell you it's perfect but again, work in progress and we're back on the seafront now, you'll have seen this before from the, when we drove the 99 that comes down here bit of uh, boat clutter on the front there. Again, this is sort of an area where maybe like the pavement but a bit of grassland in between. Like two pavements with a triangle that gets narrower. Maybe a tree there. That, that'd be lovely. Of course, you don't want to put too much detail in because again, that's when frame rates start to struggle, isn't it? Oh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lovely little bench on the front and a note stuck to it. What does the note say? Let's have a look. Bitter lesson the Schwerbehinder to Menschenplatz. Yeah, I think that might be nicked from a German map there. Somehow. Nope, oh, don't get caught speeding. Old plods on the left. See, this is nice. Again, raised houses, nice bit of steps, trees, lampposts. This is really, really nicely done just a nice different way of doing your houses isn't it raised up and very seasidey very coastal towny a couple of coaches parts on the front there and that's nice because going the other way they stick out a little bit so it means that you have to pull a little bit onto the wrong side of the road to get around them right here we go a lot of passengers aboard for an Optair Solo aren't there but there's a reason this is branded as uh, as a solo. Hang on. 1, 2, 3, 7, 50, 70, 80. They're like Bus Sim 21 because they don't have notes on there, do they? Uh, hang on, there we go. Return. 1, 2, 3, 24. Have you got any bigger coins, mate? No. Because there are no bigger coins either, you imbecile. Right, where are we going now? Left? Well, we can only go left, can't we? Because that's a one-way system. There's a lot of building work. Look, all those bollards out again. Right, so we're going into the right-hand lane and round to the right here. Oh, come on, love. Get out of the way. And then round to the left hand side. A nice lovely little roundabout there. That's not a roundabout. Double deckers will struggle under here. Flipping heck. It's a low tree isn't it? Again repeating houses but with a little bit of different things going on in the garden. So it does detract from uh, you noticing that. Got a bus coming the other way. What's that? 72A? That's the uh, the Devon livery which is uh, what we're going for on Adstow. That's the, uh, the bus company livery. First Olympia with a couple of route brandings. Police uh, headquarters there. We'll just not look at that road in front. Obviously that will uh, have something leading away from it. Either that or it'll just be done as a cul-de-sac. Hang on, stop request. Ehehe Lane. Appropriately named. Right, there we go, two ladies getting off. Right, round we go. We'll just cut straight across. Ah, right, okay, so there's a bit of a rail station going on here. Oh, we've been here before. Of course, this is where we started on the first beta, isn't it? And I moaned that the bus was too big to get round this little thingy at the end, the turning circle. 
which could explain by why the route that comes to the train station is now an Optair solo. Ah, been quite clever there. Rather than actually going and redoing his loop that is too small for normal sized buses, he's got a smaller bus to go around it. Clever, yeah. That's, uh, that is working smarter, not harder, right. if ever I've seen it. No, nope, hang on, sorry, that's a 460 ticket. There we go. And one pound change for yourself, sir. Thank you. Oh, hello. Good day, driver. Uh, return, please. Lovely. Cheers. Right, there we go. I know we're a little bit early, but it's fine, isn't it? So, yeah, we can actually, if you stick close to this line now, you can get all the way around, looking in the mirror there, with no problem. It's as easy as that. And an eclipse, you'd have to reverse there. I think you'd have to reverse there in the open top and Vira as well. But yeah, work smarter, not harder. You didn't have to change the uh, the turning circle. I'm impressed. The only problem with that is that it constricts this route to being a solo, because otherwise you'll have to do some sort of reverse in... Uh, witchcraft back there. Right, so we're going right out of here now and alongside the railway line. We're off to Colstead Estate uh, Industrial Retail Estate, Retail Park. Got lorries uh, on the left hand side. It's a very industrial it's a very by the track area isn't it? I kind of feel like this is very uh, very like near Penzance. That's why it feels like to me. You've just come out of Penzance you know there's a lot of industry on the left hand side a lot of there's the big Sainsbury's in there. A lot of uh, retail units. Well, there we go. Thank you, sir and madam. I'm sure you've just got off the bus, sir. No. So this is Halfords, but it's not. It's a Maserati garage. Fair dues, posh cars here, isn't there? Hang on, how do we get back inside? Now, there we go. So slow for the upcoming turn. Ah, right, we're nearly here. This is nearly the end of the route. So yeah, brilliant little 20 minute route. And I do hope you enjoyed that. I kind of feel that this is a little bit abrupt of an ending. Maybe that's silly to say. It just, the ending just feels very sudden and very abrupt. When I first drove this route, it, uh, yeah, I was just pootling along. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, oh, it's done. But we've got this nice corner nice tight corner here again perfect for the solo we'll, uh, we'll just pull in there stick the anchors on oh wow look Gemini going past what's that the 27 so not the 27A because that is of course something different and look at that that is absolutely lovely we'll, uh, we'll turn the directions off there brilliant I'm having a screenshot of that well let me know in the comments what you uh, we'll turn the engine off and not you out for uh, another three minutes yeah let me know in the comments what you thought to that Adstow project is the name not currently available it's in beta but I think that this is really really promising it's coming on absolutely leaps and bounds and I know that there's a couple of little nitpicks that I have with it but it'll get sorted in time. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. Nice couple of routes on here. I'll have to do another little drive in the 99 to see if they've, uh, if Mr. Sergeant has actually changed that at all. I don't know if he has or not. Uh, but yeah, we'll go for another spin in the 99. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please do click the like button. It's always appreciated. And if you haven't already, do consider subscribing so that you can keep up with all OMSI content. Yeah, really, really, really impressed. We're definitely coming back to this. It's awesome. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.